Howdy everyone, Schwing here. Today, we're going to be learning how to download mods with the CurseForge mod downloader. A few quick notes before we get started. You must own a copy of Minecraft Java for this to work. And this isn't the only way to download mods into Minecraft. This is just the way I like to do it. With that said, let's get it. So step one, we want to go to CurseForge.com. You'll be brought to this page and we're looking for the CurseForge app. Click there, then click download and go through the installation process. It's quite simple. Once you've installed and you have the CurseForge app, you'll be greeted with a page like this. Of course, since this video is about Minecraft mods, we're going to click on Minecraft. Here, you'll see all the profiles I've created. When you come to this page initially, it'll be empty. So let's create our first mod pack. You can hit create custom profile at the top. And from here, we can name our profile anything. I'll name this demo mod pack. We can select our version of Minecraft all the way down to 1.1. I'll click 1.19.3, for example. Then our game type dictates what kind of mod loader are we using? Are we using vanilla, so no mod loader at all, forge or fabric? You can also select the version of whichever mod loader you choose. The real difference between these is some people will develop for forge and some will develop for fabric. There's no right or wrong answer, it just depends on what mod you plan on using. More on that later. For this example, I'll click Forge and hit Create. So here's our mod pack, but we have no mods. What do we do? Well, we can go back to CurseForge.com. We can click Minecraft. We can either download a pre-built mod pack from the community, such as RLCraft or Pixelmon, or we can find individual mods and make our own pack. For individual mods, we'll find one we like, such as just enough items. We'll click install. Yes, open the CurseForge app. Allow, open CurseForge. Select profile. And you'll see that demo mod pack here is grayed out and it says incompatible. Why is that? If you remember, we created that as a 1.19.3 with Forge. And just enough items seems to be on 1.16.5. So that won't work for us. Let's take random TP, for example, which is on 1.19.3. And if we go to the files tab, we can see that it is developed for Forge. So now if we hit install, select profile, demo mod pack, install, boom. Random TP is now installed and ready to be played in our game. But let's say we want to install a mod from an external source, such as Modrinth. That's no problem at all. Let's go to Modrinth to find a Forge 1.19.3 mod. Say the Corgi mod. You can see our versions of the mod over here. Click to download. Now CurseForge will generate our folders for us. If we just hit these three dots, we can hit open folder. Then we have mods. Here's our random TP mod. We can simply drag and drop our Corgi mod. And there it is. And that was a quick rundown of downloading mods with the Curse Forge Loader. If there's any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll answer to the best of my ability. If it's a little bit too complicated, I'll make another video and follow up for you. But until then, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.